These videos suck, so I'll just get right into it. As many of you have probably guessed, me and Elle are no longer together. And without getting too personal, I do want to clear the air. When there's four separate videos on the same topic, it's pretty clear to me what the common denominator is. I know that I'm the problem. I think a lot of you are looking for some big specific reason why we're not together or some cataclysmic event and the reality is much more boring. Things were going really, really good for the first year and then in these latter six, seven months of us dating, it just kind of started to unravel. And for the record, that was nothing that Elle did. She's a saint. And year in, year out, I've continued to make the same mistake over and over, which is just telling myself that, oh, this time it will be different. This time I'm gonna figure it out. I'm really disappointed in myself that I've kind of jumped from relationship to relationship without ever sitting down and truly saying to myself, why did the last one not work out? Why did the one before that not work out? I have to address all those personal issues in my own brain before I jump headfirst into a relationship again. Now, obviously many of you follow Elle and have been asking a million questions. I would ask you respectfully, please don't go bothering her about this. I signed up for this. I made my personal life public and I understand the consequences that come with that. Elle was an incredible girlfriend. I have a lot of respect for her. And the relationship finally just got to a point where I said, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why I'm struggling to take this to the next level, which obviously is marriage, being committed, doing all those things that are really important in a relationship, but I can't do it effectively right now. And because of that, the relationship was slowly deteriorating and we both saw that. Like, honestly, I wish there was a legitimate way to describe this that was better, but even as I'm sitting here talking about it, I'm getting frustrated with myself. I wish I could just point to say, here's what happened, here's why we broke up, and here's why it can't work in the future, but I don't have that. It was more like I woke up every day with this emotional turmoil, and despite everything on paper being perfect, it just, it just didn't click. I don't know why, which is almost more frustrating. For example, I had relationships in the past that ended very, very poorly, and that sucks but it was easier for my brain to compute. It was so finite, this is so murky. Regardless, so I appreciate your patience. I know you guys have more or less known this already and it's so embarrassing to make a fourth video on this, but I gotta really sit down and get my shit figured out and I'm up for the task. I just don't know how long that'll take. I thought I'd bring this up right now too. So back in 2020, I quit nicotine, cold turkey. And that had remained until 2024, this year. About six months ago when me and Al were basically about to break up, I started, I started using Zins. And I'm sure you guys saw it in my college football videos. I had a Zin in probably 12 hours a day, every day while I was filming. Not only that, but me and my friends were going out a lot in Arizona. Overall, I had like a two month period of just being a degenerate. The reason I'm telling you this right now is I think our community is one of the best on the internet, truly. I also love Luna. I love my friends and family who are so incredibly supportive. But every once in a while, you need an accountability partner too. So I want to get back on my game fully. I don't want to be using nicotine. So today is September 7th as I'm recording this. I'm hoping that you guys can be my accountability partner. Maybe you just needed a little push. Hopefully this can be it. I certainly needed a push. And now that I'm putting this video out there, I'll have half a million people keeping me accountable, which should certainly help. I won't make this a giant yap session. To really conclude, uh, me and Elle are obviously not together anymore. It was nothing that she did. I just wasn't ready. I'm sick of making the same mistake over and over. I'm sick of making this video. I'm so sick of making this video. So my promise to you guys is each day I'll give my best to be better than I was the day before. And hopefully in the long run that will turn into a legitimate positive change in my life. And I refuse to end this video on a negative note. At the end of the day, I love you guys so much. No matter what goes on in my personal life, I will be here. And I really, really hope that this can be the last one of these. Hey, I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me as always. We're gonna be just fine over here.
and that's a huge thanks to you guys. And, uh, and uh, back to your regularly scheduled Super Heat bangers starting tomorrow. I love you, gentlemen. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.